This is part two to the seven minute solo BJJ workout that incorporates seven jujitsu techniques that you're gonna do for a one minute duration. And I want you to do this for seven minutes. And if you can, do them for seven straight days. And I guarantee you, you're gonna see an improvement in your mobility and your flexibility and your overall jujitsu technique. Uh, if you know these exercises, please just roll through it. Uh, I'm gonna demonstrate it very slowly so that you guys can kind of keep up. But if you know it, just work through it. So let's go ahead and get started here. First exercise is going to be egg beaters, right? So we're going to start on our back. Your feet are going to be kind of up in that position. And you're just going to rotate them, right? So we're just going to loosen up our hips. What I want you to do is incorporate your hips into this movement, right? So like I said, I'm going to do these techniques kind of slow for demonstration purposes. But if you know what you're doing or if you feel comfortable with it, pick up your pace and do it faster, right? So the faster you do these exercises, the better it's going to feel for you. So our time is starting now. We're going to do these for 30 seconds and then we're going to change our direction on which way we're going. So same thing, don't follow my pace. My pace is slow just for demonstration purposes. I want you guys to do it at a quicker pace if you can. But so we're just going to rotate. Make sure you're incorporating your hips on these. Move them left to right, left to right. Just kind of keep moving around. And then keep your abs flexed and keep your head off the mat, right? Because we've got to build that neck strength and that back strength. So we're going to change our positions, go the opposite direction now. So keep your abs nice and tight and keep your head off the mat. Try and relax your shoulders as you're doing this, all right? Because we're going to be here for, for a little bit longer. So let's keep going. Keep rotating. You're going to have a goofy side. You're going to have a good side. As you can probably tell this is my goofy side. I, I don't do it as well on this side. So let's just kind of keep working. We're almost done. Keep working it. Keep rotating. Keep working those hips. Working those hips. All right, time. So let's go and move on to the next exercise. The next one's going to be shoulder rolls. As we do these shoulder rolls, I want you to look over the shoulder that you're going and keep that hand tucked next to your pocket. Then you're going to dump your hand underneath between your legs and you're going to look behind you as you're doing this. So same thing, keep your hand tight to your pocket and look behind you. Don't roll on your neck. I want you to roll on your shoulder. If you're rolling on your neck, you're doing it incorrectly. You should be rolling on your shoulder. So keep your hand tight to your hip. Look the look behind you at the direction that you're going to roll as we go forward dump your hand between your legs and then look behind you in that opposite direction and roll over that shoulder concentrate on rolling over your shoulder and not your neck and this becomes important when we're doing jiu-jitsu in case if you get you know you get into a stack pass position you want to make sure that you're able to rotate over your shoulder and not on top of your neck if you roll over on top of your neck there's a possibility you could damage your neck uh, or or break something so make sure that you're rolling over your shoulder as we're going into this position so uh, kind of a key for this is when you're rolling over your shoulder backwards you look the direction that you're going to go over the sh over the shoulder that you're going to go and you keep your hand tucked in so you look over the direction that you're going to go when we go forward you tuck your hands between your legs and then look behind you so let's go ahead and keep doing this this is a great great stretch for your back forward we're almost done. All right, good. Let's move on to the next exercise. Now we're going to do step overs. You're going to sit up in this bridge position. Your hips are going to be off the mat. Head is off the mat. And you're going to step to the opposite side. And you're just going to rotate your hips. So as you're doing this, keep your abs tight. Keep your hips off the ground. And keep your neck off the ground. And try and keep your elbows in tight if you can. All right, this is a great drill on teaching you how to replace guard. So when we're, we have someone passing us and, and we're trying to get our legs over. So this is a great drill for passing guard or, or keeping someone from passing your guard. So we're stepping over, hips are off the mat, head is off the mat, and we're kind of rotating on the back of our shoulders. And try and keep your elbows in tight as you're doing this and concentrate on pushing your belly button to your back. Keep that ab nice and tight as we're working this position. Keep working left to right, kind of rotating in that position back and forth. Keep everything nice and tight. As your head is off the mat, try and relax your shoulders. You don't want to get tired out. So if, if you figure this out and you've got it, pick up your pace. Don't go slow. Don't follow my pace. I'm going slow just for camera purposes. But I want you to go faster. Rotate left and right, left and right. Ten seconds. Let's go. You're almost done. Keep going. Right hips off the ground. Head off the ground. Elbows in nice and tight. All right. Let's move on to the next position. Forward shrimps. So as we're doing these forward shrimps, you're going to be on your back. Your hips are going to be off the ground. Your neck is going to be off the ground. You're going to reach with your right foot and bring your butt to your heel. You're going to reach the other side. Foot is on the mat, on your toes, and you're going to just drive your butt to your heels. This is the basic kind of the starter position if you don't know how to do 
forward shrimps, right? So we're stepping out with our left foot on our toes and we're gonna drive our butt to our heel. Now, if you know how to do forward shrimps, immediately just start working the drill, right? So forward shrimp is we're gonna put our either our heel or our toe on the mat and we're gonna drive our butt all the way to our heel so that we're actually moving across the mat. So this is a great escape position from the bottom. So we're gonna reach out with our foot. We're either gonna place with our drive with our drive with our heel or we're gonna either drive with our toes as we pull our butt towards our heel. And we're just gonna go back and forth, left to right. So as you pull, bring your butt back and you're gonna extend yourself right back to that starting position. So you reach out and then pull it in and then go right back. So let's go ahead, we're almost 10 seconds. Keep working that forward shrimp, making sure you're concentrating, keeping your head off the mat, your elbows are in nice and tight, hands in that prayer position as we're moving into our next position the hip bump sweep. So we're gonna start on our back like someone is in our closed guard. And we're gonna try and sweep them from this position. So we open our legs, put them on the mat, sit all the way up, put our hand behind us, and reach our opposite hand into our opposite side pocket. So close guard, open our legs, and what I want you to do is when you sit up, instead of going from elbow to hand, I want you to immediately go to your hand. And that opposite hand that's not on the mat is gonna reach across, and what I want you to imagine is you're reaching across your opponent's shoulder, you're tucking their elbow into your hip and then sweeping them over with your hips. You're going to drive forward with your hips. Now, the reason that we're tucking our hand into our hip and blocking that arm is so that your opponent doesn't base out. We don't want them to put their hand on the mat as they're getting swept. We want them to get uh, rolled over all the way with the driving of our hips. So we're using that hand to capture their arm so that they cannot base out. So. Open your legs, feet on the mat, driving our hips forward. Concentrate on getting that hand immediately behind you, not going from elbow to hand. So use your core to get you to sit up quickly as you can, securing that arm to your hip, and then knocking them over as we get into this position. So driving your hips forward and up. The next drill is the knee slide pass. So we're gonna sit up on our legs. We're gonna have our hips nice and low. Our left hand is going to hit the mat, under hook on that side, and we're going to drive our knee past their knees or past their legs, right? So right hand goes on the mat. Imagine that's the under hook on the opposite side, and we're sliding our knee to the opposite side of where our under hook is going to be. So right hand is on the under hook side, and we're driving it on the opposite way. So left hand on the mat, and we're driving to the opposite side of that person's body, right? Because they're on their back, they're playing guard, whether it's an open guard or maybe a half guard, a De La Hiva, and we're driving to the opposite side. We're driving the legs to the opposite side of where our underhook hand is that's on the mat, and we're sliding our knee through. Driving that knee, popping back up, hand on the mat, underhook side, sliding that knee. So that hand that hits the mat, imagine that's going to the underhook side on the opposite side of their body, and we're taking that knee driving it to the other side. So as we're doing this, uh, I want you to keep your toes pointed back so that you're not gonna get caught in the half guard as you're trying to cut that knee slide through. So try and imagine keeping that toe pointed back so that you don't get caught in the half guard, sliding through, popping back up, and going to our position. Next technique is gonna be the final one. We're done here is the closed guard cross collar choke, your favorite, I'm sure. So as we're doing this, imagine you've got someone in your closed guard and you're pulling them in with your legs and you're crossing your arms, right? So we're reaching up with our abs, we're putting our ear to our top hand, pulling our knees in and squeezing. So you're doing a reverse crunch with your knees, right? So imagine pulling your opponent in with your legs and you're also crunching up or sitting up to meet them in as you're crossing your hands. So if you're feeling highly motivated, imagine that your hands are you don't have a good grip on the collar, so you have to open your hands and you have to shoot your hands up to get a better grip, right? So uh, sometimes if you're trying to use this cross collar choke, you can't, and you're choking, you don't have a good grip, you're going to do is immediately open your hand and you're going to shove your hand deep in and get a, a much better grip. And then don't forget if you want to flip your hands over and, you know, choke on the opposite side, you can kind of cross, you know, instead of left over right, you can go right over left with your hands. But imagine opening your hands, shooting them deeper into the collar, getting a, tall, a, a tighter choke, and then choking them out. And don't forget to do that reverse crunch. Get that reverse crunch in there and get those abs worked out. 
We're almost done with this ab killer of a workout, and we're done. Good job, guys. Thanks for working out with me. I, I got a pretty good sweat if you can't tell. And if you got a good workout, please leave a comment and let me know how it went. Also, subscribe to my channel, and please feel free to share on any of your social media platforms. Hey, have a good day, and thanks for working out with me again.